गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एंथेलमेंटिक्स और एंटी हेलमेंटिक्स सो दिस ड्रग्स आर दोज विच आर किलिंग द वॉर्म्स और डिफरेंट पैरासाइट्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू शुड नो वॉट आर एंथेलमेंटिक ड्रग्स इन्फेक्शन विद हेलमेंथिस और पैरासाइटिक वॉर्म्स एफेक्ट मोर देन टू बिलियन पीपल वर्ल्ड वाइड सो एंथेलमेंटिक्स आर द ड्रग्स दैट आइदर किल वार्मीसाइड और एक्सपेल वार्मी फ्यूज दैट इज द इन्फेक्ट्स इन्फेस्टिंग हेलमेंट्स so these are known as the vermicide or vermifuge also helminthesis is prevalent globally one third of the world's population harbors them so helminthesis is more common in developing country with proper personal and or poor personal and environmental hygiene in the human body git is the git is the abode of the many helminths but some also lives in tissues or they are larvae migrate into another tissues they harm the host by depriving him of food causing blood loss injury of organs intestinal or lymphatic obstruction and by secreting toxins so helminthesis is a very fatal and uh, but is a major cause of ill health so type of common helminthesis so worms live in host git worms or larva live on other tissues or host body like muscles viscera meningitis lungs subcutaneous tissues so now uh, getting some examples of the gastrointestinal worms tapeworm tinea saginata tinea solium diphyllobotrium latum that is available in the fish so humans are infected by eating raw or undercooked meat containing larva or encysted in the infected animal muscles so there are different another type of worms like the tapeworm that is the cystodes t saginata that is a beef tapeworm that is available in the beef a uh, t solium that is available in the pork worm uh, diphyllobotrium latum that is available in the fish <coughs> so in case of d latum infection by eating raw or uncooked fish in some conditions this larva may develop causing cystocerosis that is the larva gets encysted in the muscle or more seriously in the brain or in the eye also so there are some intestinal roundworms that is uh, residing in the intestinal portion that is the nematodes ascaris lumbricoides enterobulus vermicularis trichuris trichuria uh, strongylus sterocolaris ankylostoma didunelli like this there are some tissue roundworms that is a trichinellia spiralis so these are the different examples that is the hookworm uh, and uh, wipeworm trichuris trichura pinworm these are the different type of nematodes now coming to the trematodes that is the cystomes flukes so cystoma cystoma cystomiasis bilharzia fasciola hepatica these are known as the different uh trematodes lung fluke so larva move from intestine to bacillus and settle in the lungs next classification <coughs> The anthelmintic agent comprises of the drug chemically diverse structures and their mechanism of action differs from one agent to another. So, first category is the benzimidazole, where one benzene and uh, imidazole rings are fused together. So, they are versatile anthelmintic agents, particularly effective against gastrointestinal nematodes. These are highly effective against ascaris, enterobias, trichuris, and hookworm infection, a single or mixed infection, where there is uh, acetic acid amino group. and there is a r group and depending upon the r group the name of the drugs are changing so getting albendazole where sulfur containing uh, propane ring is there mebendazole that is c6 h5co group is there where fluvendazole uh, like this different type of uh, albendazole drugs are available so they are very effective in case of hookworm tapeworm roundworm like this now coming to the quinoline and isoquinoline so quinoline ring oxam quinine and praziquanta that is one of the another drug that is also very effective so in case of quinoline and isoquinoline you have to study in your future classes also now coming to piperazine derivative that is the uh, two nitrogen containing six member saturated ring <coughs> that is one of the important drug diethyl carmazine carmazine that is a dec one of the important drug that is given by given by the ipp workers women and vinyl pyrimidines that is one of the drug pyrental oxental that is a, a niclosamide drug and another different drugs are also available like natural products avermectin organophosphorus metriphonate imidazole uh, thiazoles levimazole these are the 
and the nitro derivatives nitride as well these are the another drugs so chemotherapy of the helminthic infection like for nematodes we use diethyl carbamazine ivermectin mebendazole pyrenthal and uh, for um, trematodes praziquantel and cystodes albendazole and niclosamide now coming to the diethyl carbamazine citrate so here uh, the iopic name is given nn diethyl formethyl 1 piperazine carboxamide citrate it is a white granular powder soluble in water and insoluble in alcohol so it causes hyperpolarization effect which decreases in muscular activity consequently immobilizing immobilizing organism and dislocating the parasite from their normal habitats in host it also alters the microfilarial microfilarial surface membrane thereby rendering them more susceptible to destruction by host defense mechanism treatment of filariasis caused by ucheria bancrofti and uh, loiasis uh, that is caused by lualoa and uh, toxocariasis so synthesis uh, that is uh, n methyl hydrazine and uh, cocl2 carbonyl chloride carbonyl chloride is attached and ethyl uh, amine so ethyl amine is attached in that first nitrogen chlorine position now thiabendazole another drug that you have to also study next mebendazole study this drug albendazole important diclosamide not so much important praziquantel that is important two nitrogen containing fused ring saturated and one benzene ring saturated oxo group is there that is also important ivermectin that is a natural containing isolated from the streptomyces avermetallis white crystalline powder so you have to study like this way thank you